Hey there, welcome back. This is Taz. Today we're just gonna do a fun look back at some of the wigs I've worn this month. Coming up. Based on your feedback, I know you really enjoy these types of videos. Now, I'm not a very active person. I don't go out every single day. Um, I do take my mom out to do errands and thrifting once a week and my husband and I will go out some on the weekends as well. So these are just some of the wigs that I have worn out and about. And a lot of times I'll get to looking at my wig shelves and I'll say, hey, I have not worn that wig in a while. I'm gonna get it out. And I end up falling in, falling in love with it all over again, which was the case with this style. This is the first one I'm gonna show you today. This is Reese PM by Noriko in the color Champagne R. Reese is a short little shaggy style cut. And I just love all this choppiness of Reese. This style never goes out of fashion. I think it's always going to be popular. I love it for that reason. It frames the face beautifully. Now this is the PM version, which stands for partial monofilament. You're gonna see a monofilament starting right at the hairline and then all the way back through a left monofilament part. That's different than and compared to the original Reese, which is just a traditional machine made cap. So these little bit of monofilament features, I think make all the difference for me. First of all, there's a little less permatease on this Reese and it seems to be more manageable in certain areas, especially around the face. Uh, that monofilament just gives a lighter looking density around the face and there's not as much middle volume as the original. Although we can work with both, I just really prefer this PM version. Now Reese comes in the original, which is the machine made cap, and it comes in the PM, which is the partial monofilament, which I'm wearing. It also comes in a large size. This one fits me quite average. So if you have a larger circumference, you also have the option for a Reese. Just love the layering, it's beautiful. It looks so great with just about everything. And I think that this shag style cut is just so universally flattering. So if you have a Reese PM out there or just a standard regular original Reese, please share. This is one of those wig styles that has been around forever and will probably be around forever. So let's move on. This is another style that I had stored for quite a while, and I actually brought it back out so that I could do a little brunette's video. This one is Caliente by Beltress in the color Brown Sugar Sweet Cream. Probably the most wearable brunette for a blonde lover. Look at all that chunky blonde in there. It's a combination of some light, medium, and then darker uh, browns and then two kinds of blonde highlights, one a little warmer than the other. Overall, I feel it's a neutral color and I think that's why it works so well. If you are used to being a blonde and, and you enjoy rooted blondes, dimensional types of blondes, I think this one will work really well for you if you just want to darken up a bit. There's just, it's just so dynamic and layered with color, super dimensional. And of course, Caliente with its short, kind of a short to mid-length look here, beach wave, nice light density. It's always a winner in my, you all may recognize this one from a recent review. This is Raquel Welch's Captivating Canvas in RL1723 SS. I wore this down to our, our state's capital, Columbus. That's where my son lives. We were going out to look at some open houses with him. He and his fiance are looking at purchasing a home. So we had lunch and then we went out to some open houses. That is my old stomping ground because I was a mortgage banker forever. That was my main career in life. And I visited a lot of open houses. I worked with realtors very, very closely. And so it was a fun day for us. But I decided to wear this one because it's, it's, it's fun, it's elegant, but yet casual in a sense. And I dressed it up with a hip jacket. I don't have a picture to show you and some boots. Uh, but I felt really comfortable in this one. And I love how it just frames the face. And just a little side note, my husband loves this wig style on me. 
He says it looks rich. <laughs> Dress it up with some earrings and it could go easily from day to night. So again, here's Captivating Canvas, an RL1723SS. You just have to get one quick look at this one to know that this is Taz. <laughs> that short to mid length kind of curly style. I'm in love with this. Unfortunately, it has been discontinued by the manufacturer. This is Beltress's Olympia in bombshell blonde. I do have a full video out there which might give you some ideas for some dupes on this style. I think your closest one is probably going to be the City Roast by Beltrust that is still in production. And I love that one too. Uh, but I really love this barely curl on the sides. It has a nice practical fringe and of course, this beautiful length. This was a summer go-to for me last year. And I had uh, recently had some coffee with my dad. Um, I went down to see my dad and stepmom and we, we sat and had coffee and um, this is the one I wore because I feel so comfortable in it. And Bombshell Blonde is just so light and bright and perky. I can't stand it. I do love this wig style. Okay, last one. This one is always a huge hit. It's super easy to wear. It looks beautiful every single time. Are there any other Finn fans out there? <laughs> this is Aesthetica's Finn in Sunlit Blonde. One of my favorites, as you know, I've featured it in many videos. My favorite blonde by Aesthetica and probably my favorite style by Aesthetica as well. Curls, curls, curls. Big, deep, lace front, love that. And like I say, it's adorable every time and it holds up through washings and wearings. And you know, I've never put this one up. Um, and I think it would look beautiful if you put it up with some little clips and things. But I just never have because it just looks perfect down with all these noodly curls just all over the place. Kind of jumps off of that lace front there. Love and adore it. This has been a more of a weekend type wig for me. Because I just feel pretty, you know, when you go out with your husband or with your girlfriends or just by yourself. You're going shopping, it's a good day. You just wanna put on something that makes you feel pretty but yet very comfortable to wear. So that rounds out my March wigs that I have worn all month long. Everybody have a fantastic day. We'll see you again real soon right here at Taz's Wig Closet.